If your client has made changes to the design, we recommend that you duplicate the design. To do this, simply click on this icon here and these two boxes and this will duplicate the design you have already made. And then to work on this new design, simply click on the sample album copy and this will load in the design and all comments that the client has made on the album proofer. So all we need to do now is go down to the spread in which we know we have comments click show comments and this will load in the comment showing we need to delete this image on the left hand side so all we do now is click and delete and we'll simply make a few changes to tidy this up and then to upload the new proof all we need to do is click on the proof icon up here click on main album and this will bring up the same landing page we created earlier to upload the new spreads we simply follow the same steps so we go down here to next we now want to upload the sample copy and the copy of the sample album rather than the main album because this album is where we've made the changes we select next click through to next all the information is already in here so click next. We are now greeted with a new review and update. As you can see here, we can update the non-design data only and there is a checkbox to overwrite the current proof, which is what we want to do. So we simply click here and export and overwrite and this will overwrite the current spreads with the new spreads with the comments implemented so the client will see the proof as they have requested. So all we're going to do now is click export and overwrite. And when we do so you can see we have a pop-up and this is just reminding us that overwriting a proof will replace the design and delete all past comments. If you would like to keep your past design to refer back to including the comments we recommend creating a new proof with a new name. I'll show you how to do this now. To create a new proof so you preserve the original layout and the original comments all you need to do is select the icon up the top and just click on new proof and this will create a brand new proof for the client to see where you have implemented the comments they have made but because you haven't overwritten the previous spreads or comments you can always refer back to the original comments the client made in the first proof all you have to do is click OK and you can see on the left hand side we need to re-import the proof title and the subtitle I would recommend calling this Rosie 2 so both you and the client can differentiate between the two proofs. Once you've inputted, click next. And now we want to still upload that sample album copy with the changes we have made and the wall art and the thank you cards. We click next. If you wish, you can re-upload the slideshow. Click next. We have to re-input the name and email as we have created a brand new proof. So you just put the name and email address into here and click next and export and upload. And this will create a brand new proof with fresh comments for the client to make with the changes you have made.